All right, guys, welcome to another episode. On this episode, we're going to be working on this gross little monster right here. This is my uh, shoddily thrown together uh, Type X2. Um, I bought this from an eBay seller and it was full of problems. Big problems is uh, it didn't actually have a case fan, which we're going to fix. The solid state drive it's been modified with was literally held on there with some foam tape. Um, the, the other issues it has is the, the power supply fans are basically dead or, or barely working. There's a bunch of capacitors on the inside of this that are just completely like puffed out that we need to swap out. But we're going to go ahead and open this guy up and we're going to go ahead and swap all of those parts. And I'll show you what I've done already. It does work. Um, you may notice too, if, if you're familiar with this hardware, this is actually a Taito Type X Plus case. So this is originally a Half-Life uh, arcade server game or whatever. And they basically took the X2 motherboard and shoved it in here, which is part of the reason why this thing is so like kind of half-assed or thrown together but let's go ahead and open this guy up and we'll take a look at what we are going to do all right so here's a quick list of the uh, parts that we're going to be throwing in this guy today these little mini k's or kaze 2 fans these are for the power supply we're going to be uh, pulling the original stock ones out these are little they're like 40 millimeters by 40 millimeters by 10 they're very very small little fans but those are going to be going in these are all the capacitors i think they're thousand thousand uf uh i forget exactly the measurement of them a thousand uf 300 volt or something or 100 volt i don't remember nope we're uh, way wrong thousand uf 6.3 volts that makes more sense uh there's a bunch of those in there that have to get swapped out uh this is the main case fan that we're gonna use it's a noctua it's like a silent fan it's the same version that i put on my cps2 just a little bit bigger um overall this is an 80 millimeter fan we're gonna be using and then this is two gigabytes of ram so right now i only have uh 512 so we're gonna go ahead in there and we're gonna put uh, the two gigs so We'll go ahead and tear this guy open, and I'll kind of show you what we got, what we're working with. All right, so if you're, again, if you're not familiar with the uh, the Taito X2 hardware, it's basically a, a PC. It runs a uh, an embedded version of Windows XP, I believe. Um, but what we're going to start by doing is simply just taking this case apart. So again, very, very similar to like a standard older uh, motherboard. But what's unique about it is that the games actually sit on a hard drive up here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this off. What I'm going to do is pull this hard drive out. And we're going to pull this top case off, and I'll kind of show you uh, what's actually inside of the case. But again, uh, you can see it's missing a bunch of screws and stuff. This is how it came to me uh, from the seller, which I got a really good deal on this, so it's okay. But um, I, I do think that going forward when they sell stuff, they should maybe kind of tighten it up a little bit. But let's go ahead and get this beast open, and we'll check out the guts. All right, so I figured I'd just kind of show you how this goes. So once you have all the screws out, you go ahead and lift this guy up. And obviously it's connected with the serial ATA connection, but here is my solid state drive. And then once that's done and the rest of the screws are out, you can literally just pull this top piece off. And as you can see, this is a <coughs> computer, PC. Main difference would be that, you know, it's Taito branded, Taito board. Um, so this is, again, this is kind of a heavy, heavily modified X2. So we have the, uh, the stock X2 motherboard in there. This is actually a off-the-shelf Dell uh, NVIDIA card that they put custom BIOS on. Um, again, I didn't do any of that stuff. That's just how it came from the seller. So there's also, down here on the back, this is like your dip switch. So under this little black square right here is your setting for a 480p or 720p. So I'm running this on my Chulix, so I went ahead and did that. You have your, uh, it's, see, it's marked JAMA. Pretty sure you guys can see that, but that's actually for your I.O. So I'm using the Capcom I.O. To plug that in now there is an option for when another one of these cards that have a Taito fast io this doesn't have it my x3 board does have it but this simply doesn't have it but here's your video output i'm um, converting the dvi signal to uh, hdmi and then i just run the audio out of you know the same thing into the amp of the chulix um but yeah it's, it's pretty much you know outside of like this power supply being a little bit beefier uh, and this has two fans in it too that we're going to swap basically what i've done so far is I have gone ahead and put, uh, I did new thermal paste for the CPU, I put a new CPU fan on there because the, the other one was kind of rough. Um, but as you can see, if we come in here, a lot of these capacitors near the uh, power grid, like this guy right here, they're really, really swollen. So I don't know if it's going to pick it up, but they're, they're almost like puffy, like, like about to pop. So all those 6.3 volt 1000 UF caps, we are going to go ahead and pull those out and, and swap them for the new Nichicon ones. Um, but yeah, it's, it's basically a PC. So I'm going to go ahead and take this thing apart. I'm going to pull this motherboard out. 
and then we'll go ahead and start by uh, swapping all of the capacitors. I just give you guys an update. We've got the uh, video card out, <clears throat> and I've got the uh, I/O card here. Uh, but we're just going to go now through here and pull these motherboard screws out, disconnect ATX power and all that stuff, and basically just pull this motherboard out. So okay, so our motherboard is out. Now that we have it out, I'm going to go ahead and spin this around for you, so you can get a better look at some of these uh, capacitors that are super puffed trying to get the light to focus a little bit better for you but you can see how like they're like puffing up and swollen and everything like that we don't want those guys to stay in there so we're gonna go ahead and swap them out with our brand new one so what I'm gonna do is turn on the old uh, the old Hako over here and we're gonna start pulling some of these old uh, capacitors out all right so we have our first cap out you can see here how uh, puffy this guy was, kind of swollen, so we have a bunch of these new little Nichikan guys. We're going to pop in to these holes. So as you can see, there's a frick ton of them, so this is going to take a bit. But once we're all done with that, we'll move on to the next step. But you can see the underside of the X2 here. It's got a big old X clamp on it for the processor. It's pretty cool. All right, so all of the puffy caps are gone. So we are now going to go ahead and pop this back into its case and start swapping out fans and RAM and all that other fun stuff. Alright, so sadly, uh, just like much of the rest of this X2, the uh, power supply has the wrong fans on it. So mine has the single fan over here and the original X2 actually has two kind of in the back. So unfortunately, we can't swap that out. I'll go ahead and order it. This just looks like a normal... 70 millimeter fan. Um, I did go ahead and get the Noctua mounted. Um, again, the original X2 had a 120 millimeter case. The case is a lot bigger than this one. Um, so I went ahead and, and got an 80 millimeter and, and I know it's kind of janky, but I had to, you know, kind of support it in the corners with uh, zip ties. I don't want to put screws through because I don't like the idea of having metal washers and nuts hanging over a motherboard, but that fan is now mounted. Um, again, before, before we filmed this, I went ahead and put a new fan on the CPU and thermal paste. We have the motherboard back in. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop the video card back in. Kind of put everything back together and then we're gonna go ahead and pop it in the Chulix and see if it fires up. So let's get to it. All right, so we got our video card back in, got our fan mount. I'm gonna go ahead and just simply swap these RAM sticks. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have swapped the RAM, but we'll go ahead and check it out when it's done. But pop those guys in. Okay, the X2 is back together. So we're gonna go ahead and pop over to the uh, Chulix, pop this thing in and see if it fires up. And here you can see all the uh, the junk pile, the old caps and crap that we pulled out of there. So, quite a bit of work done. It is a little bit dirty. The shell's kind of beat up. I did scrub it, but a lot of this is just like scratches in the actual metal. Um, again, this is like a repurposed X Plus case, so it's kind of on a, a hacked together, thrown together, if you will, X2. But let's head over here to the old uh, Chulix and pop it in and uh, see what happens. All right, so we have the X2 there. We have the. Uh... Capcom IO in there. I know it's kind of dark, but if we uh, pan up here, we have uh, Ultra Street Fighter 4 now running on the X2. So, one thing I have noticed is this knock to a fan, even though it's super quiet, it definitely feels like it's not moving as much air as the old stock fan did. So, I will keep an eye on it. Now, definitely, it's, it's throwing out warm air. Uh, when I got this case, the entire, like this part right here would get like so hot, it would like hurt your hand because they, they just simply didn't have a fan on the back. Um, so I'm going to keep an eye on it uh, just to see. Because like worst case, if this fan's not outputting enough air, I'm just going to buy a, a more high powered fan. Uh, this one had really good ratings. It's what I use on CPS2 and it moves enough air. But we'll just keep an eye on it and see if this thing gets hot like it used to. But adding the new RAM and the caps and everything so far, it seems to, you know, it's booting up and... It booted up a little quicker than it used to. I don't know if that's a, due to the, the memory upgrade or whatever, but it is up and it is running, man. Pretty cool about that. And I got the audio amp down here. Let's turn this up a little bit.
All right, guys, so that's going to do it for this quick little episode. Um, I wanted to take a quick second and thank you guys. We finally hit 500 subscribers, which is a very, very small number, but I do appreciate you guys interacting, asking questions, things like that. So uh, thank you guys very much. Uh, on the next one, we will be heading up to FGP to check out the Megalo. I'll be filming that in a few days and hopefully get it up by the end of the next week. Don't hold me that, but I'm going to try to get more stuff up when I can. It's just life's been crazy and, and all that stuff. But thank you guys again for tuning in, and as always, we'll see you on the next one.